The tutorial today is regarding designing a four bid Johnson ring counter whose truth table is as shown here. We are going to employ a data play flop whose characteristics is as indicated. This next state corner map with an input D and present state QN. The next state is the data. So regardless of the present output zero one, the next will be zero zero if D is zero. If D is one, the next state is one. What we like to do is using this truth table of the 4-bit Johnson counter. First, develop a one-map method for data flip-flops, or sometimes called universal map method. We introduce four symbols, capital I for turning on, at sign if the flip flop turn off, zero if it stay off after clocking, one if it remain on or stay on after clocking. The meaning of that is the present zero becoming one as an X if it turn on. And we know the data one as an input to make that happen after clocking. For turn off, meaning present state is one, clocking it becomes zero. So you need a zero data according to here. Stay off, meaning to say presently zero, after clocking becomes zero, remain zero, data input must be zero. Stay on. Present is one, clocking it, remain one, that is it. We're going to de develop the four bit data flip flop made up of A, B, C, D, and implement that in Silings Webpack version 9.1 schematic source. So this is a pre preliminary tutorial without requiring writing VHDL, but instead just implement it as a schematic in the schematic capture of the web pack. The next step is to derive the data input reading rule. As we have recalled a while ago, the very symbol for turn on, turn off, stay off, stay on, is as shown. In order to derive for the input D of a given circuit, according to here, when you group it in the usual map method, you enclose the one and you avoid the zero. So the corresponding one map is you enclose turn on symbol and the stay on while avoiding turn off and stay off symbol. So that is the meaning of this reading rule. To derive the day input, you must include the new grouping to produce the input D enclosing the I and the one, while at the same time avoiding enclosing zero and turn off. And if the don't care X help, you can include it. The third step is to derive for our four bit junction counter, the required data input. Based on the truth table we have presented, 
it is very easy to fill this four variable kernel map for each of the data input of the four flip-flop. So here is what happened to flip-flop A. For instance, in this cell, when the table row is 0, 0, 0, when it moved to the next row, the flip-flop A stays off. And over here, the flip-flop, it is not even available in the table, so we put don't care. Over here, we have an I. So the, the A turn on. And over here, the flip-flop A turn off. Similar reasoning for the others. So applying the rule, remember, we must include I or 1, but not 0 or turn off. So this is the best grouping where the data input is B. And here is for the data of flip-flop B while avoiding zero and turn off. So that is C, the input to B data input. For the next flip-flop C, the data input is D, output of D flip-flop. And for the last D flip-flop, the B, D data input is a complement. So using this, it is, we can now draw the schematic. But before we do that, in Webpack schematic feature, we have to decide what we 